A quick thank you to my Patreons. Oh wait, I don't have any. You'll find more info about that at the end of this video. Hello you guys and welcome to the Jurassic Age. I have traveled back in time to the lands where the dinosaurs ruled the world. And I will try to survive on hardcore. Spoiler alert, I failed. Huh? I didn't say anything. Anyway, this is going to be a lot of fun and I can't wait to share my experience with you. I also would like to thank Luke the Notable for starting this awesome 100 days format. So without any further ado, sit back, press the like button and enjoy. Okay. Okay, where am I? I spawned right next to some really scary looking dinosaurs. This is, this is not good. I want to say clear of those. Oh, there we got another one. Okay. All right, let's let's get away from those bad guys, which is really hard to do because they are s surrounding me from every direction. I was completely surrounded by those spinosaurus. First thing that I wanted to do was to get some uh, basic tools. For my first day, I had some very simple rules. One, do not die. Two, do not die. And <laughs> lastly, find some food. And then, also, not die. Those things. Oh, I don't know, is it me you're angry at? Is that a watermelon? Oh! Oh! I have to be honest, I can't imagine myself surviving here for 100 days. But this world looks cool. This is a really dense forest. Really, really dense. Got some new dinosaurs here, <gasps> and yeah, there's uh, there's mobs here. Oh, another one, watermelon. So I'm not quite sure what I'm searching for. I just want to get somewhere that is somewhat more open, or maybe find somewhere where I can get some cobblestone and iron stuff like that. For now, I'm just trying to avoid the dinosaurs. A hill. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a dinosaur? Doesn't look very dangerous. That, that's gonna be good food for me. I will get a sword first before I even try to... Ooh, look at that. Doors. Are they sleeping? It was getting dark and I found a location that I liked a lot. But I didn't have a bed so I couldn't sleep right away. Eventually I found a very interesting location. It's a place where you can mine for fossils. And right next to it there was a guy. How did you end up in this, in this timeline? Huh? How did you end up here? I used his tent to make myself a bed and slept for the night. Okay, so I actually did survive my first day. That is good. Uh, for day two, I um, spent most of the time just exploring the surroundings, collecting as much iron and coal as possible. <laughs> then later I returned to my crafting table and those birds were not happy to see me again. Let's uh, melt. Oh, whoa, is he mad? Is he mad? Where? Dude, don't go after me, bird. Dude, a dinosaur bird. I'm sorry if I offended you. Oh my goodness, it's still going after me. If I'm having trouble with this one little bird here, I'm gonna have a hard time later. I'm not going to get bullied by a bird. So I made myself a iron sword and shield and I was ready for payback. But uh, he was gone. Or so I thought. <gasps> oh! oh no! <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I cannot hit it! I don't know why I'm not hitting it. There we go. Dude, that, that shouldn't have been that like, difficult. This is a really bad sign, you guys. Almost got killed by that little ugly bird. So I got a problem at my hand. Actually, I have two problems. One, I need to get better at combat. <laughs> and uh, the main problem, I don't have food. And those birds were not giving me any food. But I put down my sword and made myself comfortable inside the rocks for the night. Okay, it's a new day. I made myself an iron uh, helmet and I had only one thing on my agenda. Find food. Oh my goodness. Why do these birds hate me so much? Oh 
I'm, like, I'm gonna die by it. Look at that guy! He's so pissed. I'm not sure what's wrong with those birds. They really, really hate me for some reason. But still, I need to get some food. I tried killing those creatures in the water, but they didn't give me any food either. I didn't have much health, so I had to be really careful. I don't trust that guy one bit. Oh no! Oh no! Those birds again. Like, did you see that? He saw me for like a split second and he went straight for me. Can't believe I'm afraid of those small things. What, what will I do if I meet a T-Rex? <laughs> Oh, I can't even eat. I can't even eat him. It's getting late now. <gasps> Those freaking birds. Oh, Jesus Christ. No. Okay, between me and you, can we just pretend this didn't happen? I, 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 it's only day three, please. Please allow me to try this one more time, okay? I added a new mob that will remove normal Minecraft mobs, such as the zombies, creepers. I wanna keep the spiders though. So let's, uh, let's try one more time, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm so happy that you guys understand and uh, allow me to try one more time, thank you. Oh my god! Okay, so I had to manually remove normal mobs and I forgot about the Enderman. So this doesn't count, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna start from the beginning of day three, okay? Let's clean clean start just day three, alright? I'm going through some difficult times. Thank you for understanding, they will be great. We're gonna continue, I'm not gonna die. Yes. I started with no items, so I spent most of the day in the same location just gathering more resources, again. <laughs> and I even found some more iron. But still, I need to get food. I decided to go in a different direction and hopefully find some food. But there I saw a couple of dinosaurs that I'm not too familiar with. I don't know if they're hostile or not. And it was getting dark, so I figured I would just stop here take out my bed and sleep and move on tomorrow. It's a beautiful morning, I melted my iron, uh, I saw a spider and I fought it. I need the strings to make myself a bow. If I didn't know any better, I would have thought this dinosaur was protecting the pumpkin that I wanted. I'm not quite sure. I collect the pumpkin, hoping that I could eat it, but apparently, or from my understanding, I cannot, unless there's something I don't know. So I moved on. I seriously need to get a food, because I can't even sprint now. Is that a horse? Where's that? That it? That looks. That looks somewhat friendly, right? Those are. Those. Those aren't dangerous. Oh! I got meat. Oh, look at all the precious meat here. I gotta kill the kid too. Oh! <gasps> look at that dinosaur! I didn't even see it. Oh! Uh, what is this called? Long neck? I don't know. I'm so hungry, you guys. Oh! Dinosaur meat. That's the best meat. Oh, I'm so happy now. Alright, well, this uh, is cooking. I can get some wood. Alright, how's the meat doing? <gasps> Ooh. Oh. Yeah, those are... Noisy dinosaurs. That's what it is. Jeez. I don't know what those horses are. But they are part of this mod. So, I don't know. I guess it's fine, right? <laughs> at least I'm not hungry anymore. Look at all the friendly dinosaurs. It's great. It is awesome. Oh my goodness, more meat! <laughs> it was getting late, so I went to sleep. We're on day 5 now, and I crafted myself a better sword and challenged a dinosaur. Let's see if I can kill a dinosaur. <gasps> I regret it already. Oh, I got it! <laughs> that went very, very well. I'm happy. I feel like I've proven myself to be slightly better at combat now. <laughs> so, <laughs> you guys don't need to worry. I won't, be, I won't get killed by those dodo birds. I walk through a very beautiful purple forest. Really nice place. But I want to travel a little bit further, see more stuff before I 
decided to settle down somewhere. You wanna fight? I feel very confident right now, you see. Oh, it's scared of me! What are those things? Are those... Oh, is that raptors? Okay, so this is my first experience with the raptors. And yes, they are very aggressive. They have already killed some type of animal. And now they were chasing a rabbit. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable fighting them quite yet. So I will leave them be and move on. During sunset, I actually spotted a T-Rex in the distance. And <laughs> there's actually a mammoth there too. I think this was the point where I realized that this mod includes many different ages of extincted animals. Oh, he's sleeping! I thought he died! Well, if you're sleeping, I want to sleep next to you. It's a beautiful morning and I collected some more uh, resources. I have to be very cautious because there seems to be a lot of raptors nearby. Oh, more raptors. These bad guys are is everywhere. It's coming for me! Go away! Go away! Oh, oh, we got more here. I'm surrounded. I was completely surrounded by raptors and uh, it was getting dark, so I had no choice but to sleep on this, this little snow hill. Oh, oh. I'm not allowed to leave! What do I do? <laughs> They're down there too, and this one is dancing. Oh! There's one too! Oh. I didn't see any other options but retreat. I had to go back the way I came because there's no way I'm getting through those raptors. Luckily I found a safe uh, path that I could take. I ended up in a cave and killed a few spiders down there. They don't look very friendly. During sunset I made myself comfortable inside a cave. Crafted myself a bow and made some armor. Oh, look at me. A new day, a new adventure. Picked up some lava. I'm, I have no idea what I need it for. And I made some obsidian, but uh, I don't even have a diamond pickaxe, so I'm not even sure why I did that. Saw a couple of new dinosaurs, including a triceratops. There were some really tiny, sketchy dinosaurs too. There's more of them over there. Was well, something sleeping? But uh, I'm sure. Oh, there's another one. I made another bucket to pick up some hot spring water. That water will heal me. Eventually it's starting to get late and I slept. The next morning my journey continued. I still can't stand those dodo birds. <laughs> Screw you. Not much interesting happened. I collected some flint because that's what I need to make myself an arrow. I just need to get my hands on some feathers. <laughs> Looks really great. <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I love this red forest with all the bushes. Looks really nice, but it was full of ravines here. So I decided to not settle down and I uh, kept moving forward. Oh! But, oh, the dinosaurs are fighting. Oh! The next day I was in a dark forest filled with alligators or like dinosaur alligators. It was a really nice forest, getting some Skyrim vibes from it. Then a dinosaur gave me the look, and I, and I don't like when dinosaurs give me the look. Think I'm scared? Uh oh, I'm scared, there's more of them. Oh, I killed them both. Huh? Oh. I thought he went right for me there. I kept traversing the forest until I saw a village. I did not expect that. I didn't I didn't even know there's villages in this mod. How do you guys end up here? I tried killing some of the birds there to see if I could get feathers, but I didn't. And it was getting late, so I slept. The next morning I was still in the village and I found some diamonds. I don't know if this is cheating. But I, I don't know, I take it. I take the diamond. But I didn't spend much more time in the village and I left. And before I knew, it was dark again. The next morning, I found another village. I know, these villages are popping up left and right now. I more or less just walked through the village, I didn't spend much time there. And I saw some cows outside, that means there should be chickens in this world. Oh my 
really. That alligator was way closer than I liked. Right before I was planning to go to sleep, I got Whoa. attacked by slimes. They looked very weird. I think it's because of my shaders. But I killed them and slept. When I woke up, there was a witch outside. Another mob that I forgot to disable. But I kept moving forward until I saw something terrible. I don't think these guys are... Oh, it's already in lava. After seeing a long neck dinosaur drowning in lava, I got a vision. I got an insane vision. I had a vision where I did have something really crazy. I poured lava on the Spinosaurus. That's like the most dangerous dinosaur in its, in its mod. And it got really mad and killed me. Woo, I'm so glad that was only a vision and not something that I did in the game. Yeah, <laughs> woo, I got lucky there. Thank you, vision. I can't wait to read all your comments saying, Oh man, I'm, I'm glad you got that vision. That was, that was lucky. You might, you might have done that. So, well, it was good you didn't because you had a vision. Okay, we're on day 14. Nothing much happened on day 14. I came across another village, but this time I just passed it, more or less. I don't want to spend time in villages anymore. But I did trade some emeralds for arrows. Saw some more spinosauruses and um, nothing much more. When I woke up the next day, I was right next to something really strange. I'm not sure what's happened here. The environment looked all wrong. I don't know if this is a bug or something else. Then I saw some raptors attacking a T-Rex. I cannot believe what I'm seeing. Oh, they killed the T-Rex. The, I don't know, man, these raptors, I don't... I don't feel safe around them. They they are wild. Kill the T-Rex and everything. I came to a new location and honestly, I'm not sure what I was thinking. For some reason, I, I decided that here is where I will settle down. Right next to like 10 Spinosaurus. Have I learned nothing? I, I, I have no words. The next morning I realized this was a really, really stupid idea of me. So I, I didn't build anymore and I left. I didn't go very far though. Found another location that I like. I flattened out the terrain so that I can have a little settlement here. Also dug a hole in the ground so I can get some stones. Alright, I will be very honest with you guys. These next days are not going to be extremely exciting. I'm just constructing the home. And on day 17, I just made the um, perimeter, I guess. The next day I gathered some food and I don't think I did anything else. Day 19, I gather some more wood because I need it for my pillars. Now the walls are more or less complete. The next day, I gather more rocks so that I can uh, build uh, the actual home. But I still needed more wood, so I gather more on day 21. Oh! He's attacking me. Come here. Hey, how dare you? Oh, you're both attacking me now. Oh, the shield broke! The shield broke! Retreat! Retreat! I started constructing the roof of my home, but it was getting dark and I didn't complete it before the next day. Also, the Spinosaurus around me were very, very hungry, it looks like. So I had to be careful. Now my house is more or less complete, and I just added some final touches to the wall. For some reason, I thought it would be fun to just shoot some arrows at the Spinosaurus. I get it. Oh. On day 24, I started the day by uh, just battling some dinosaurs. And uh, later, I returned back home to make myself a diamond sword. I used up all my arrows earlier, so uh, now I was back on a hunt to find a chicken. I checked out a nearby uh, village. I couldn't see any chickens nearby, but there were a couple of new... Uh, New dinosaurs that I haven't encountered yet. I stayed overnight in a village and made myself a whip. Whip? Is that what it called? Whip? Yeah. Crafted myself a whip and I managed to tame a dinosaur. Oh! You have tamed this? Oh! <gasps> I'm riding it! I did not know that was possible. Oh my goodness! Does it mean they will help me fight other dinosaurs? Did I tame that thing too? Oh, they're attacking me. 
Oh my goodness, that was scary. No, I didn't find, I didn't find my dinosaur! No! Don't kill him! <laughs> it's my new friend! It's my new dinosaur friend! Can I save him somehow? Where is they're still angry. Oh my goodness, almost killed me. Alright, let's not do that again. Oh, I freaked out. I thought he, thought he attacked me. <gasps> no, he died. <gasps> well, my new dinosaur friend didn't live for very long. So I, I tamed another one. So I went searching for chickens. I wanted to test out if the dinosaur would help me out in battles. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it did kill it. Oh, I love you. Oh, this is really cool. I kind of want to go in there. But yeah, that's not... Let's not do that. Pretty dense forest, huh? Oh! <gasps> They're coming for me! It was getting darker and darker, so I decided uh, to sleep here near the long necks. Is he going to attack me? You try. You try attack me. You try. Come on. There you go. That's what you get. That's what you get. And after searching for a little while, I finally found one. <gasps> a chicken! A chicken! A chicken! Let's make a dirt house for you. Come on, chicken. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so happy I found chicken! That means I can get feathers. Oh, that's great. Ooh, those cats could have killed you. <gasps> it made an egg! I don't want egg, I want feathers! I want more chickens! I want you to multiply. I have finally caught myself a chicken, and I wanted to build myself a bigger chicken house. So that's what I did on day 27, I built a bigger chicken house. Next morning, I figured I should see if I can find more chickens, cause, uh, you know, I want them to make chicken babies, and I want the chicken babies to make other chicken babies. Then I saw uh, some type of loot uh, tower. I'm not sure what they're really called. I am somewhat familiar with these things, so I didn't get murdered, luckily. There were no items that I wanted inside, but at least I got a couple of arrows. Then I learned something new. Even though a dinosaur is hostile and, want, and, want, and wants to kill me, it will not cross the water. And it looks like it's every dinosaur. Then I saw some pigs, but I don't know what they are useful for, so I just uh, left them. And uh, right after sunset, I saw some chickens. Look at all the chickens! Follow me, please. Oh, my dinosaur went to sleep. Are you joking me? They're following me. That's good. Many chickens. I didn't know what to do, so I tried collecting as many chickens as I could in a pit until daytime. It's day 29 and I have many chickens. Yeah! And uh, my task for today is to bring them to the chicken house that I've already made. Hey! Hey, get away! Unbelievable. No, 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 cat again! No, 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 get away, cat! No! Alright, this is not going very well. I, wanna <laughs> I want to spare you guys the details, but I, uh, I lost almost all of the chickens. Uh, and by the time that I arrived at the chicken house, I only had one chicken left! Let's just get you inside. The next morning I went back out again to find uh, the lost chickens. No! God damn it! Come here you little shit! I don't know man, these cats, they are murdering all of my chickens. But I guess the ones that I have already should be enough. Day 31! I made myself a better bow. Kill those stupid cats. I also wanted to try out the bow on some dinosaurs. Oh wow. That's a powerful bow. Help. Help me. Okay, here we go. It's really awesome to have a dinosaur on your team. Suddenly, I saw something really strange in the sky. It looks like to be some type of black smoke. I went closer to investigate. Oh we got Oh my goodness. What has happened here? Oh here too? Oh my goodness, this is not good. 
It's bouncing. My frame rate is completely messed up. Oh no. Look at all the fire. What has happened here? Wait. I was running right next to a volcano. I didn't know. How I have not seen this volcano before? Did this, did this volcano just appear out of thin air? Yeah, this volcano was not was definitely not there before. Would you look at that? A volcano just suddenly rise up from the ground. Out of thin air. Right next to my home too. That is crazy. This village was really lucky I didn't get hit. Alright, I wanted to try out my bow a little bit more. I decided to shoot some more arrows at the Spinosaurus. It's not doing any damage to him. The arrows are just bouncing off. Some of these dinosaurs have a really thick skin. What happened? I saw a Triceratops and I tried to tame it and it worked. Oh, I can. But I don't see anything. There we go. I returned home with the Triceratops. And the next morning I tried to break some blocks using the dinosaur because I heard that you can do that. But uh, it doesn't. It didn't break any blocks. I'm not sure why. <gasps> What's going on? What happened to my house? Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, my house! No, my items! What happened? Oh! Almost died. I'm just trying to figure out how to can break blocks with the dinosaur and suddenly it blew up my house. I spent so many days in this. And look, my beautiful home. My house is destroyed. There's an active volcano right next to it. I'm surrounded by spinosaurus. There's no reason for me to stay here anymore. Then finally, I realized what my mission was, what my one true objective is, and that is to build myself a Jurassic Park. And it's not going to be right next to a freaking volcano. Okay, you guys need to forgive me. While editing, I am on day 34, but the game is on day 35. That means there's a day missing. I have included everything, I must have done a mistake somewhere. I tried finding the missing day, but I couldn't. But I am curious if it's one of the building days where I left out an extra day. Anyhow, we are on day 35. I have downloaded a new mod called uh, Journey Map. And I just wanted it so that I can find my way back home if I get lost. I want, I will have the minimap turned off. And I did another oopsie. I disabled biomes of plenty. And I did uh, activate it again. But apparently there are some trees missing from my world. And it looks horrible. But there's nothing I can do about it. I'm sorry. But yeah. I didn't do much on day 35. Otherwise I uh, collected some rocks. Alright day 36. I fed my chickens. I started a little farm behind uh, the chicken house. Yeah, something like that. I started building a cage for a dinosaur, but I, I, I don't know why, I, I didn't like it very much. So this project got abandoned. Then I collected some more rocks and fought some spiders. Day 37, the chickens are multiplying and happy. Get the cat, get out of here. Leave my chicken be. I realized there was a ravine right next to me. So I entered the ravine and found a pathway into a cave on day 37. And I was long. I was down there for a really long time. I found many, many zombie spawners, and had many near-death experiences. To be fair, though, it's not that dangerous considering only spiders naturally spawn. So, no, uh, no normal zombies or creepers or or anything like that. I, I don't want to go through everything in down there because there it's kind of boring. It's not very interesting. But uh, I came back up again, and we are on day 40. Oh, my dinosaur is sleeping. Hey, friend. I saw my dinosaur sleeping, and the chickens were very, very hungry. I wanted some feathers, but uh, instead of killing my own chickens, I went out in the forest, out in the woods, and just killed uh, and killed some wild chickens. Later, I arrived at a little spot where there was a ton of T-Rexes. What are you freaking out about? Is it a T-Rex? Is that freaking you out? I can't help myself. If I see a dinosaur like a T-Rex, I just need to, uh, I don't know, poke at it a little bit. Lucky for me, I was out of arrows. So I left. <laughs> this one is up in the tree. Hey, man. Okay, we're on day 41. Uh, what was my mission again? Uh, I forgot. Oh, wait. 
Day 41. What did I even do in day 41? What was I looking for? Why did I travel? What did I search for? Uh, I honestly don't remember. Maybe I will remember tomorrow, but for now I slept in a village. That is so nice. Oh, oh spiders. Oh. Yeah, sleep. You know what, honestly, I might just been exploring. Maybe I wasn't searching for something specific. At least on day 42, I returned back home. And we're back home, baby. Here we go. There's a cat inside. How did the cat get inside? Okay, day 43, right after I have dealt with the cats, I went out to collect some more wood. I want to build myself a little home base or laboratory where I will make myself dinosaurs and such. Alright, a new day. Day 44. I found a spot where I would like to build my little uh, laboratory. Instead of building a square house as I did previously, I went with a, a round or octagon shape. And the entire day was spent just constructing. I want this to look as good as possible, you know, because... I want you guys to say, hey, that is a nice, nice building you made. You are really good at crafting buildings. That's what I want to hear in the comments. Anyhow, the next day, the walls were done, the floor is finished, and I started on the roof. Day 46, I fed my fat chickens, and, uh, and I placed down some of my machines or crafting tables inside the new house. I'm not too familiar with everything yet. And I was out in the woods again. I have no idea why or, or what I did. Alright, the, <laughs> the next day I was back here, back in my base, I guess. I don't know what I, what I did the day before. Was, that was strange. I added some more decoration to the, to the house. Some iron fences. I made a machine called Culture Vat. And that is the machine I will use to bring dinosaurs back to life. It's a little bit dark, so I placed some torches around. I wanted a secure door, so I made myself an iron door, but uh, I guess it doesn't work very well next to fences. And I figured I could extend the entrance, but I didn't feel like completing it at this at this moment. My poor, poor chickens. I was out of seeds, so I went out uh, in the fields and just collected some. I seriously have a cat the problem here. They keep trying to kill my chickens. I should get a roof. Then I used one of my new machines, a analyzer. So I put a fossil into the machine, and that will give me a dinosaur DNA or something else. Huh. So this I can make chicken this way. Interesting. Okay, so I wanted to find some slime balls. And I think I collected it when I killed the slimes earlier. But I might have left them behind in my house or it got destroyed. I'm not quite sure. But now I would like to find some slimes and kill them. I need it for a recipe. Wait, where did my dinosaur go? Okay, this is very strange. When I jumped off my Triceratops, it just disappeared completely out of the blue. But I can still hear it sometimes. I tried digging underground to see if it was, if it was in a cave, but uh, I couldn't find it. Luckily, there was a bunch of Triceratops right next to me. It doesn't feel right when I kill a dinosaur when it's not attacking back and it's trying to escape. I don't, I don't know, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't give me the satisfaction of killing a dinosaur. But yeah, my hunt for slime continues. It was night time and I came over a sand castle. Oh, I guess I also forgot to disable sand zombies. Oh, my shield broke. That was not good. So I spent the entire night just fighting them. Where's my dinosaur? Help me! We gotta do this together. But it's good. I need the raw flesh for my recipe. I just wish my dinosaur would help me instead of just sleeping. Alright. It's day 50 and I survived and I have killed all of the zombies. I went inside to check out the loot, found a couple of diamonds and then I returned back home. Look at all my chickens, there's so many of them now, I love it, I love it. I don't love the cat very much though. I crafted myself many many arrows and I wanted to be extra crazy so I crafted myself four explosive arrows. The tip of the explosive arrow is red. And it looks like I had a normal one on me, but uh, apparently, I did not. <gasps> oh, baby. Uh, uh oh. I almost killed myself there. Before going to sleep, I finished the ceiling. It was still darker than I liked, so I added an extra cool light source in the middle. Okay, so to make a dinosaur, I need certain items raw flesh, I have that. I need uh, slime, I don't have that. I need milk, I don't have that. And weed. 
I do have that. So for today, I went searching for a cow. I just didn't travel right away because I couldn't find my dinosaur. We're on day 53 and I wanted to do something crazy. I wanted to kill a Triceratops to collect its DNA. Why well, it's not hurting by this? How are you not hurting by this? All right, I need to do something more extreme then. Uh, excuse me? What a scream! can't believe my explosive arrows didn't work. Not long after, I came across some raptors. What after me? Luckily they're not fast in water. There we go. Seriously, if it weren't for that water, I don't think I would have survived those raptors. Oh my goodness, they almost killed me. Where's my dinosaur? Which of, you, which of you are mine? Are you mine? You're probably not mine, right? But, uh, oh well. This place is also very beautiful, besides the fact there's like a lot of raptors here. Okay, it's a new day and my Triceratops is gone. It disappeared again, just the same way as last time. So I wanted to find a new dinosaur that I can ride on. Ooh. But I want to get close to the long neck. Maybe I can ride it. <gasps> Ooh, it worked. Hell yeah, look at me. Hey, I got myself a long neck. I decided to bring it back home. We are on day 55 now. I decided that I will wait searching for cows and those other items that I need. And I wanted to start building Jurassic Park. And my first dinosaur is gonna be this long neck. So I spent the day making a cage and collecting more wood because I'm going to need a lot of wood for building defenses. All right, a beautiful morning. It's raining, but it's beautiful. I have already crafted the fences and I continued building the cage. I'm not quite sure how tall it should be, but I figured a block height of four should be good. So the day was spent building the cage and putting the dinosaur inside. It looks good. Hell yeah. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm off to a good start, but I need more wood. So I went out collecting more. Look at this view I have. We have the chicken farm, my laboratory, and my first dinosaur cage. Jurassic Park is looking good. I crafted myself a dino book, and it's actually pretty cool. Ah, look, this mob is happy. It will not attack you. That is probably useful. It's a shame I never used it again. I wanted more rocks and stuff, so I went back into the cave. The next morning, I wanted to craft myself a enchantment table. I already have diamonds, but then I would need to get obsidian. And to collect the obsidian, I need to make a diamond pickaxe. I only had one bucket of lava, so I had to go back into the cave. I also managed to get myself an ancient sword. I was down in the cave for a very long time. And when I came up again, it was day 61. I started the day by storing the items that I collected and I melted all the iron and then crafted myself the enchantment table. <gasps> I figured the enchantment table could be in its own building. I probably could have spent more time on this building but I didn't. Okay, day 62 and look at all the DNA I have. A lot of dinosaur DNA. I went to the enchantment table and gave myself a sharpness level 3 for my sword. I hope that is good. And then the rest of the day was spent building a new cage for a new dinosaur. The next morning I took a little break and went on a little adventure. Oh Jesus. <coughs> I did not expect that. <coughs> I wanted to find some dinosaurs that I could have in my cage. Okay, I tamed it, but I don't know how to get it to follow me. And then something very strange happened. I saw a long neck completely alone in the woods. Hello, what are you doing uh, out there alone? Oh, it's breaking blocks! I don't... I didn't think they did that. Wait, is this one angry? <gasps> I died. I can't hide this anymore. I can't say that I had a vision or pretend it didn't happen. I died. I failed hardcore. But I wanna keep going! I wanna capture more dinosaurs. Screw it. Hardcore, who cares? Who freaking cares? Whatever. Um, 
I'm playing hardcore at the same time I'm out, you know? You freaking killed me. Unbelievable. I, why would you do such a thing, huh? I'd like to go with the red hair. Black hair? Get out of here. Why did you do the things you did? You were lost in the woods, you know that? Totally alone in the woods. Probably why you were so mad. I came to rescue you. And what you did? What did, what did you do to me? Yeah, you stepped on me. You freaking stepped on me. After I was done yelling at the long necks, I went out again to uh, capture myself some new dinosaurs. But apparently every dinosaur wants me dead now. Oh yeah, it does attack. Alright, alright. Yeah, 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 I get it. I realized my armor was broken, so I went back home to craft new armor. I also wanted to use more of my diamonds, so I crafted myself a diamond crossbow. The next morning I went back to the dinosaur that wanted to kill me, uh, but apparently I didn't understand this crossbow, it didn't shoot any arrows. Some time later I realized that crossbows don't use arrows, they use bolts instead. So I crafted a lot of bolts. I wanted to try out the crossbow right away and I found the perfect target. Now where is that ugly dinosaur, huh? There we go. That's what you get for messing with me, you know? There were two of the same dinosaurs on that little island. Luckily the next dinosaur was pretty awesome and allowed me to tame it. I tamed it. Nice. I think I will use you as a um, method of traveling. So I can find like some other dinosaurs. You're a good uh, traveling companion. You don't get stuck in trees and stuff like the other dinosaur does. Then I tamed a Ankylosaurus. I hope I said that right. But I'm just glad to have more dinosaurs for my Jurassic Park. I might have failed at playing hardcore, but I will not fail at making a Jurassic Park. So many pigs here. Why aren't you guys cows? Where's the cows? Here's, there's my traveling companion. My Uber. I went searching for cows again. I came over a mine shaft. I went inside to see if I can find anything interesting, but uh, there was nothing there, sadly. So the next morning, I moved on. Oh, it's attacking me! It's attacking me! Jesus! You almost killed my my dinosaur. You think what I'm thinking? Oh no! I just shot my own dinosaur. Okay, this is really bad. I just killed my travel companion. There's a T-Rex right in front of me. And behind me there's a very aggressive alligator. Luckily for me, there was another Ankylosaurus that allowed me to tame it. Let's do what I was trying to do originally. <laughs> oh, it's beaten. It's asleep. Hey, I killed my first T-Rex. I would love to tame one though, but I need an item called Scarab Gem or something. And I haven't found that. I was still craving T-Rex blood. I saw a new dinosaur I wanted to tame, but I got interrupted. I can't tell you. Oh my Jesus, these flies. I have no way of defending myself against these dragonflies. They're super fast and super aggressive. Okay, so the next morning I learned something new. I learned that this black oil here will work from my recipe. I don't need green slime. On my way back home, I came across a parasaurus or something. Those loud dinosaurs. And this dinosaur will be perfect for my park. Whoa, you made... you're not supposed to get out. I have a couple of new dinosaurs inside my second cage, but they did not have access to water. So I made a little water pound. I placed all of my T-Rex bones into the analyzer so that I will get T-Rex DNA. Day 69, I brought a lot of buckets and went back where I came the day before. Oh, whoa, where did it go? It fell through the map. Oh no. And this is what must happen to my other dinosaurs. And then I found some slimes and now when I think about it, I think these slimes are black on purpose. I don't think they're supposed to be green in this mod. Anyhow, I killed all the slimes. I picked up some tar from the pound. And it's looking very good. I brought this long neck back to the park. I also crafted myself a lead for those dinosaurs that I cannot ride. Day 70. I have almost everything for my recipe. The only thing missing now is milk. So for today, I will go out and find me a cow. I tamed a Triosaurus. His friend uh, was not happy about that and attacked me. Are you attacking me? We are, aren't we friends? I tamed you, you remember? I've actually not used the lead before. So I think this will be a good learning experience. I brought this new dinosaur with me back to the park. Okay. That's nice, I like it. Okay, so I returned to the cow hunt again. But I kept getting attacked by dinosaurs and I went completely berserk. And I killed so many dinosaurs. 
It didn't matter if they were hostile or not. I killed so many of them. At least I'm getting a lot of XP. I needed a new travel companion, so I tamed an Ankylosaurus. What is this thing here? Oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! That almost killed me. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is that, like an evil turtle spider? Oh my god. Stop attacking me. Jeez, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. This was seriously one of the worst near-death experiences I've had so far. That little thing there was evil. Pure evil. I was near the volcano again. And the volcano has caused way more damage now than last time I was here. This is, this is so crazy. I'm very happy that I moved this. This village is so lucky. Oh my goodness, it's so much worse now. Look! This was left of my original home! There's quite literally nothing left of it. Before going to sleep I felt like killing a few dinosaurs. Oh jeez! Quick boy, huh? That's it. Day 72. No cows have been seen yet, but I gotta be near. I've been traveling for a long time now. And look at this beautiful place. This is a place where you'll find a cow, since it's so beautiful. Wait, are they fighting? Oh, they, kill they killed the crocodile. It's so flat and so much snow. Sometime later at the same day, I came across a new village. And guess what I found also? <gasps> I found cows! I haven't thought about what I would do after I found a cow. So I went into a cave to collect some iron so that I can craft a, a couple of buckets. Day 73 and I was out of the cave and I already had crafted a few buckets. My objective was to find a cow but I never thought about what I would do after I found the cows. How will I get them back to Jurassic Park? I am really really far away. So I thought I could uh, put the lead on the cows and then ride it with my dinosaur. But uh, that didn't work. Not at all. They got detached right away. Then I thought I could just walk with them home, but that would be many days wasted. So I wasn't quite sure what to do. So I figured I could at least go back into the cave to collect more iron and have more buckets of milk in case I cannot bring the cows with me home. And when I came back out again, it was late on day 74. And the rest of the day was spent just melting and crafting buckets. Day 75. And I suddenly realized, I don't need to bring these cows with me back to the park. I can just kill them here and recreate them in my lab. So I killed as many cows as I could to get as much beef as possible. And once I've killed enough cows, I jumped on my triceratops and left. Since I was running in a straight line, I actually reached the park before sunset. Okay, analyzer. What if I take this one in here? Will it work? Please, give me cow DNA. Cow DNA, please. Cow DNA, oh yeah. So much milk I brought. All right, day 76, and let's make some cows. The first thing I needed to do was to craft myself the bio goo, and I have all the crafting materials. I placed the cow DNA into the culture vat and added the bio goo. <gasps> We're gonna make a cow. <laughs> Woo. I was sick of seeing this door here, so I just removed the entire thing. Considering I will have a cows very soon, I needed a place to uh, store them. So I made a fence next to the chicken farm. Whoa, what, what, what has failed? What failed? Oh no, don't tell me the machine broke. Oh no, what happened here? What is that? That's not the cow. I cannot believe it. What did I just make? I'm getting some full metal alchemist vibes from this. So I had to make myself a new culture vat and uh, started the process again. It was getting dark, but I decided I wanted to start building a better pathway from the chicken farm to the laboratory. So I dug away some dirt blocks before going to sleep. Day 77, I found a spot where I will build a new cage, spend some time collecting more wood and, uh, and slowly constructing the perimeter. I went back into the laboratory to check the progress. Ooh. I got a syringe. I'm, I'm confused. How, what do I do with the syringe? Oh. Okay. Okay, so the culture vat gave me a, a syringe. 
and I wasn't quite sure what I will do with this syringe. I was expecting an egg or something. I will look into it tomorrow. For the rest of this day, I would like to finish or try to finish the new cage. Okay, it's a new day and I did some research. Apparently, I have to use the syringe on an animal. It could be a pig or a cow. And luckily for me, there's a lot of pigs around the area. But before leaving, I wanted to make a new dinosaur. I want two pigs in an instant. Okay, come with me, you guys. Come with me. I'm gonna name you uh, Sean and Rob. Good, good, good. All right, so let's take out the syringe. So if I inject you, I inject you. Congratulations, you guys are now pregnant. While waiting for the pigs to give birth to my cows, I continue constructing the pathway between the laboratory and the chicken house. My mother told me someday I will find. Dun 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 dun. Right after finishing the pathway, I made a new iron shield that I hope is better than my previous one. Hey, the next morning my cows was born. Oh, oh, we got cows! Oh, we got cows, baby! Jurassic Park is getting along. I went back to the laboratory to check on my Spinosaurus. Oh, it is done. I have a Spinosaurus egg. <laughs> Let's uh, make something for it. We need to make it a home. I went and collected the small dinosaur and put him in, uh, in the cage. Then I looked for a spot where I would place my Spinosaurus. In one of the areas was a lot of rocks and I thought a harsh environment would be fitting for my Spinosaurus. So I started constructing. All right, we are on day 80 now. And I wanted to make a T-Rex egg. I didn't know how long it would take for an egg to hatch, but I assumed it would take a couple of days. So I should have plenty of time to finish the cage. Huh? Oh, it's already got crack. Oh my goodness, it's a baby. No, it's escaping! It's escaping! I can't lose you here in my park. Get back in here. You gotta stay put in here, okay? There you go. Stay. I gotta admit, it did hatch way quicker than I expected. I thought it would take like a couple of days, but look, look at it. It's so small and cute. <laughs> oh, it's so small. Here, have some fire so you don't get cold, okay? It's a beautiful day in Jurassic Park. The Spinosaurus cage is more or less complete. I even added a door so that I can go inside and feed it if I wanted. I hope you enjoy your little home, little guy. Even a small guy is scaring me. Even if it's dark, I would like to see what's going on inside the cage, so I added some torches. Oh! You guys made a baby? You guys made a baby and I didn't even know? I'm so I'm so happy for you guys. Ooh, the cows are all big now. And to get a better view over Jurassic Park, I decided to build myself a little watchtower. But it was getting dark real quick, so I decided to stop and continue later. Alright, the next morning I picked up my T-Rex egg. The king. I got the king in my hands. How's this baby doing? I still small. I wanted more lights, so I placed a lot of torches around Jurassic Park. Then I continue where I left off with the watchtower. It's gonna be tall and nice. The next morning I wanted to separate the pigs from the cows, so I made an extra fence next to it. Then I continued with my watchtower. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but I want it to look nice. And during sunset, it was more or less complete. It's a new day, and for security reason, I should have a fence up there. I thought glass would be nice, because I can see through it. Uh, it looks like it's got bigger, actually. Yeah, it's getting bigger. Look at that guy. I want Jurassic Park to look really nice. So instead of just having grass and dirt between the cages, I want to have actual pathways. But I also need to do some landscaping too. But yeah, this is, this is going to look really, really good. You guys just wait and see. And before I knew, it was already dark. It's a new day and I want to make more dinosaurs. I need to build another cage for my T-Rex. And uh, I think this spot here will do. So I just started constructing and collecting some rocks. Before going to sleep, I got a message that my dinosaur failed. So I went back to the laboratory to investigate. Oh no! Oh no, look at that thing! No! No! Sad. Sad. Before going to sleep, I crafted a new culture vat. The next day I found out I was out of bio goo and to make more I needed rotten flesh. But the thing is, I had like 64 rotten flesh inside one of the chests, but somehow I have forgotten about that. Also, just look at this minimap. Anyhow, it was night time and I was in a desert fighting zombies. Day 87, I was luckily back in my park. Wait, 
I must have had it. Did, did I not see that I had it already? I'm so stupid. I had rotten flesh. Well, at least I don't need to gather more rotten flesh for a very long time. I fed my pigs and started the process of making a new dinosaur. I continued constructing the cage for the T-Rex, and when I was almost done, I placed down the egg. Oh Let's make sure it doesn't escape. Are you making that noise? <laughs> Let's go for... Let's go for a walk, little friend. Look at you. No! It broke again. Unbelievable. The Spinosaurus is getting bigger and uh, probably hungry. I gotta make sure my dinosaurs are not hungry. I'm nice like that. Let's hope it doesn't eat me. Oh, it's coming for eat me! Why? I'm here, I'm here to bring food. You have to go in there, pig. Go in there without me. Go. Go in there. Go. Go in. Oh my goodness. Oh no! I got killed! I cannot believe it. The Spinosaurus is not even full and grown and it still killed me in one bite. Uh, so I flew back to collect all my items and put myself back to survival mode. I still need to feed this dinosaur though. That's why they attacked me. It was hungry. I just made myself a temporary staircase up the fence. You will never do. Yeah. I gave it to you. What? You eat me but you don't eat the pig? Is this some sick joke? How dare you eat me and not the pig? Are you telling me you're not hungry because you ate me already? Are you gonna step on me? Everything's getting out of hand here. Everything's out of hand. I'm sure you're gonna eat me one day too, right? For the rest of the day, I just wanted to make the park better. Oh, it got bigger. It got that uh, thing on its back now. Look at that guy. I'm so pissed at you, you know that? No! Why? Oh my god. He killed me again. There we go. That's what I feel. I need more pigs to sacrifice. I checked out my dinosaur machine and I had a new egg. I have no idea what egg this is. So I will just put it in one of the cage and uh, we will find out together. There. I wonder what type of egg you are. You're not supposed to be there. Hello? <laughs> Wait a minute! It has broken the wall! Hello? Why? Why have you done this? There's like 10 days left and I would, I would like to show off Jurassic Park. And you just broke down the wall. What? Oh no, it's breaking everything now suddenly. Why? This has not happened before. What in the world? Like out of all the dinosaurs that would cause problems for me, I didn't think you guys would be the one. These long necks are causing a lot of problems for me. Not only have one of them killed me, but now they're starting to break down the fence. Now, I didn't have a lot of wood, so I just constructed a new wall out of cobblestone. I went back to check on the egg, but I couldn't find the dinosaur or the egg. And I was worried the other dinosaur have eaten it. But I'm actually offended. The Spinosaurus has yet to kill the pig that I gave to it. Wait a minute. Why are you on the outside? How did you escape? When or how? Oh my goodness, you broke down the wall too. I'm starting to lose control of Jurassic Park. Day 90, only 10 more days. Can I make uh, my Jurassic Park any better? Okay, what dinosaur should I make? Uh, I don't know what that is, let's just make it. Pig is still alive. I hate you. <laughs> you want to eat me? I hate you, Spinosaurus. <laughs> oh my god, it wants to eat me so bad. I cannot believe it, the same dinosaur broke free again. Not only did it escape, but it didn't give me any breeding room. It kept I following it's a me. friendly dinosaur, but maybe, maybe not. <gasps> oh my goodness. You're scaring me. Don't get so up close to me, okay? Why are you following me? You make a lot of noise. Don't break that fence. Don't break that fence. If you break that fence, we're all dead. Okay, where's my T-Rex? There it is. It's getting bigger. Why are you following me? I added the ancient sword to the workbench, but I'm not sure what kind of material I must use to fix it. Then I learned that the stone tablet works similarly to a poster. That was a happy accident. Let's put you there. Oh, big one. I wanted to make raptor DNA, but I didn't have any bones. So I had to go out to find and kill some raptors. The next morning I found a raptor, but it got killed by an alligator. Did he kill the raptor just now? 
Well, that was that was very easy. But you know what? I didn't get any satisfaction from that. I want to kill a raptor myself. Uh oh. I need my dinosaur for protection, just in case. Here I killed him. Okay, now I'm happy. Now I can return home. All right, the long necks have not broken down the wall. That is very good. Oh, I got a new egg. I don't know what you are. I'm gonna put you right there. Oh no. What is that? Is that a bird that I... Oh yeah, that's a bird. It's sleeping. <laughs> Look at it, it's so small. The next morning I milked some cows and I couldn't find a dinosaur to hatch last night. It was gone. Once again, I have created a monster. Where is it? Oh, it's up there in the ceiling. Then I just realized, why why do I only have one of these culture vat? Why don't I make like more of them? The T-Rex is growing and I need to feed it. And today the pig is on the menu. As per usual, every time I open the door and try to go in, uh, the dinosaur comes right at me and wants to eat me. Why? I'm trying to feed you. Can you go away? You're super loud. Oh. <laughs> So once again, I made some steps up to push the pig over. There we go. All right, day 93. I put more raptor DNA into the culture vat and I also retrieved some raptor eggs. The question is, where will I place my raptors? Where shall they live? Oh, oh there's my baby dinosaur. It didn't die. It was just so small I couldn't see it. What is that thing? Once again, these freaking long necks broke down the wall. Again. And you know what? I, I give up on these guys. They have been nothing but trouble. Anyhow, I came to the conclusion that I would actually dig a hole in the ground where the raptors will live. That should be more secure than a wooden fence. I placed down two raptor eggs and then I went back to the laboratory to pick up the rest. I'm very happy none of these eggs failed. That's a good sign. You know what's weird? These long necks broke down the walls, but they didn't escape. They're still inside the cage. Day 94, I picked up some of my chickens, because you know what, I want these chickens to keep my eggs warm. And the Spinosaurus have eaten a pig now, it's gone. Kinda sucks that I missed it. And also, the pigs are gone from the T-Rex cage. Oh my goodness, is that the raptors? What? How did they escape? Just a feather left. They did climb it. Are you joking me? This is not good. The raptors have already escaped their little pit. Luckily, they are not attacking me currently, so I could safely put them back into the hole. It's very important that I deal with this now before they grow and become bigger. I'm still not quite sure how they're escaping. How are you guys escaping? I broke the ladder and everything. And I thought they climbed the ladder, but apparently they can climb up the wall, so I decided to add an extra fence. It is night time, and I have only one out of five raptors down in my pit. Eventually, I found a very good solution to my problem. Since they can climb walls, I have to block the path at the top. They have a uh, tree down here. Oh, what is that all about? I gave you food, and then something happened. Oh. That freaked me out. I couldn't have called this a Jurassic Park if I didn't have raptors running around. But seriously, today I must find the missing raptors. A little time later, I got a message that the culture vet failed. Oh, I made a... It's a cow! Interesting. Okay, this is new. Instead of a monster, it's actually a mushroom cow. I'm not even mad about that. These guys are really rare, I believe. So I placed the mushroom cow with the other cows. So all of my dinosaurs escaped from the one cage. I brought one of them back, but I couldn't find the other type. It was gone. I went back to the laboratory to pick up some eggs. One is a T-Rex and the other one I, was, I wasn't quite sure what it was. So I just placed it on the ground and hopefully it's not a dangerous dinosaur. The T-Rex egg was placed inside the T-Rex cage. It is night and I was uh, feeding my hungry raptors. Are you eating it in the air? <laughs> look how look how quickly you're eating the chicken. It doesn't even hit the ground. All right, next morning, day ninety-six. I fed my dinosaurs. I added something into the water. I patched up one of the walls, and then finally, I found my missing raptors. They were inside with the long necks, so I moved them into the pit as quickly as possible. 
I don't know. Are you like me? Okay, what, do, what do I have to do to get you down there? Oh. Oh, they have another baby. They made another. Oh my goodness. Another baby. You guys are mass producing. I love it. Oh, I don't like being down there. Before going to sleep, I fed my raptors and I placed a new egg inside one of the cages. I started the day by eating some raptor legs and then I made some more dinosaurs. Seriously, the long necks have made themselves a big family. There's like three adults, one teenager, one child and a baby. Then I did something I'm not very proud of. I borrowed the long neck baby and then I brought it over to the T-Rex cage and pushed it over. <clears throat> oh no. When I did this, I had some regrets, but you know what? No, this is punishment. The long necks need to know that there are consequences. They cannot behave the way they do. Then I just checked in with some of my dinosaurs. And not long after, I got one of my greatest idea ever. I'm not even lying. This is my best idea I've ever had. If there's any animals that I dislike as much as these long necks, it's the cats. Alright cat, I guess you will live a little longer until the raptors are hungry. I have created a couple of more dinosaurs and one of them are the doodoos. It feels like forever since I saw a doodoo. -doo. Now remember, I'm the boss around here. I also had a triceratops egg that I placed inside the cage. Good news friend, you don't need to stay up here all alone. You you have become a daddy now. Step, a step there. Here's the egg that you must take, for, take care of. Have you guys eaten the cat yet? Oh, it's on top of the cat! <laughs> Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh. Okay, it's a new day, but that was one of the best things I've seen. I actually loved it so much that I had to go and collect a new cat. You like hunting chickens, right? Well, try to hunt these chickens. You're extremely lucky that they're, that they're not that hungry at the moment. Oh my goodness, what's going on? Whoa, 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 what the hell? Why? What's your deal? You broke my laboratory. Why? That's my laboratory. You're gonna die for that. There we go. That's what you get. Unbelievable. Look at this mess. Yeah, well, I'm too also glad to be alive, but jeez. Unbelievable. We have an evil circle going on. I steal a baby, they break down my laboratory, I kill the long neck, and what's next? I checked in with the raptors to see if the cat was still there, uh, and it was gone, and the raptors have grown. They, they have even changed color. During sunset, I picked up some of my new dinosaurs and just placed them. I don't know what I'm holding right now, or what to do with it. What are you? Hmm? And the Spinosaurus is officially fully grown. I was trying to see the Triceratops baby, but uh, then I got attacked. Oh! Whoa, 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 Why are you attacking me? Why? I don't want to kill you. I birthed you. I'm your father. I am your father. Stop. I don't want to kill you, but I know who will. There you go. What happened to you? Yeah, you regret attacking me now? You better run. Yeah, you probably regret uh, attacking me now. I must admit, I'm taking care of my raptors really well. I give them both food and a hunt. I went to investigate further and I found out there's a hole under the tree inside the cage. And down there I found both my missing dinosaur and the triceratops baby. So I got them both out of there and patched it up. Look at him. And then I found out the long neck is actually alive inside the T-Rex cave. I went back to the raptor cage and the dinosaur was still alive in there. Day 100, you guys. We made it to day 100. I can't say that I survived 100 days because I 
clearly I didn't. I have died more than I more than I can count. But look at my little Jurassic Park that I've made. Let's start first here. Here we have my little cow farm. I have even a mushroom cow that I got from my failed experiment at the lab. And then we have some of my pigs. Look at my chickens. Yeah, they're producing a lot of egg. I have this thing here. I'm sure I added something to this water. Oh, there it is. And I started on an enchantment room, but I didn't even finish it. I kind of forgot about it. Here's my laboratory, or, or as you know, I got attacked while I was inside. So there's been a lot of damage. I tried uh, doing some repairs. A lot of bones and stuff in here. Some of my DNA. I have this workbench, but I haven't, I haven't actually used it. Here's a dodo bird. It's still young, but I think he likes me a lot because I've been giving it seeds. And these long necks, they have, um, well, they were not happy with their cage, so they, they, they broke the cage, but uh, none of them left yet. I used to have this one captured, but this one also broke the, the wall. And here's my raptors. They, I don't think they're full size yet. They're almost there. I was thinking I should give them some chickens. I hope some of them breaks. There goes one. <laughs> oh my god, look at those guys. Roll chickens! <laughs> well, that's gonna keep them busy for a while. Here we have a... Uh, I don't know. Is this one dying or just sleeping? Wake up. You're on uh, YouTube. Those guys have behaved, even though I don't trust that one. Oh my goodness, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did he really bite me through the fence? Huh, at least these guys here have been friendly. They have caused no trouble for me. Where's the baby? It's over there. And here we have the freaking Spinosaurus. Oh, here's actually the tower. Let's go up there. Looks like the Spinosaurus is full size now. Oh my god, did it face through the fence? <gasps> oh no! Oh no! What? It made it out! It made It's on the outside! Oh no! Are you joking me? No, 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 no. Oh, I killed it. Oh, you know what? I think this was for the better, to be honest. I didn't want to kill it, but it was for the best. So let's continue with my little tour. And here I have my T-Rexes. They have gotten quite large. At least one of them have. I wonder if they're trying to eat it, but I can't reach it. I'm not quite sure. Oh. All right, so I'm sorry. You will get some uh, food from me. I'm sorry. The long neck is gone. Alright, did I miss anything? They're still chasing chickens. Alright you guys, that's the end. That's the end of my 100 days in the Jurassic Age. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I have a Patreon. And I wanted to talk about it here with my dedicated viewers that actually saw the entire video. And I'm very grateful for that. I would love to do YouTube full time. But currently that is not possible. On my Patreon I will provide my maps and seed. I will give a shout out at the end of the video. And I can also give a shout out at the beginning of the video. I will also post some behind the scenes content for you. Anyway, it's something to consider. I'm just grateful that you guys are still watching. But this is the end and I only have one left thing to say. Thank you so much.